This video is an introduction to the management of rheumatic heart disease. Information is derived from the 2020 Australian Guideline for Prevention, Diagnosis and Management of Acute Rheumatic Fever and Rheumatic Heart Disease, 3rd edition. The learning objective is to identify best practice care for people with rheumatic heart disease, RHD. Echocardiography, or ECHO, is the best way to diagnose rheumatic heart disease. ECHO is used to assess the severity of heart valve damage, which is especially important if a person does not have symptoms. This information is critical to help determine the appropriate long-term care. Secondary prophylaxis is an integral aspect of the management of RHD and is described in other e-learning modules. Regular specialist, dental and medical support is required. The frequency of care is determined by the disease priority classification, which is decided by a medical specialist. For example, specialist reviews with echocardiogram may be required 6 to 12 monthly for people classified as priority 1 and 2, and less frequently for people classified as priority 3 and 4. However, everyone with RHD needs access to specialist cardiology services. Access to care can be difficult and expensive for people living in rural and remote areas. The necessary cardiac services are usually based in large towns and cities requiring extensive travel and time away from home. Outreach services are essential. They should be frequent and reliable, providing opportunities for the development of therapeutic relationships in culturally diverse and geographically challenging environments. The peak burden of ARF and RHD occurs in adolescents and young adults. Therefore, coordinated multidisciplinary transition care from paediatric to adult services is important to maintain care into adulthood. RHD is more common in girls and women, and because RHD affects people in their childbearing years, birth control and pregnancy planning must be considered early. Age-appropriate pre-pregnancy planning at diagnosis of ARF or RHD will support safer pregnancies. Additional strain on the heart during pregnancy may cause undiagnosed RHD to become symptomatic and so requires investigation with echo. It is important to continue secondary prophylaxis during pregnancy and breastfeeding. People with RHD may require heart surgery to fix or replace heart valves and can require anticoagulation for the rest of their lives. Early engagement of a multidisciplinary heart team is essential to determine the appropriate choice and timing of intervention or surgery. There are many factors to consider when selecting the nature and timing of valve interventions, including age, severity of disease, desire for pregnancy, other medical conditions and previous heart valve surgery. Tip of vital importance is the inclusion of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander health workforce, including interpreters and educators who are familiar with patients' social and cultural backgrounds. In summary, effective care for people with RHD requires multidisciplinary teamwork, keeping the patient, family and culture at the centre of care. Timely specialist follow-up and echocardiogram is essential for people with RHD. The RHD Australia website provides more information in the 2020 guidelines, as well as e-learning modules, educational videos and links to the RHD control programs. Contact the RHD control program in your jurisdiction about required follow-up for people with RHD.